<clears throat> Forgot my booties. Not my call with the uh, EVAP. So hopefully they're on the porch. These things were expensive. They're nice. Let's see what we got here. These cute little vehicles. basic nice and easy this could be a drain line here uh on this side where the um drain comes out right there as you can see it's a little on the side of nasty so of course it's fucking let's see look, look at that oh boy so we'll go ahead and start clearing her out once we do that, I'll go ahead. I'm gonna inspect this a couple things right off the bat. No locking caps. Obviously, you can see this thing's kicked out. There's no tie downs on that thing. So, we just had crazy storms. That ain't gonna be no good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, clear this. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's the good stuff. Hose there, I'll squirt it. You get a vacuum and knock this out. Sweet towers. I gotta see if I can find my fan freaking tastic right here. It blasts the gunk from the outside in or the inside out, whichever way you want to do it. I always do it from the outside in for the most part because. The blockage is already feeding out, so if you try to do it from the inside out, you're just lodging it a little bit deeper sometimes, unless it's real soft, like this bacteria is in there. And then also, the float switch has failed, because it was full of water and it's not, obviously, uh, what you call it. You know what I'm saying! Ugh. Ugh. And that don't work too well, watch. We'll shove this in, and in theory, oh, it's already pushing out. In theory, oh, well, I freed up enough. I'm going to push her in here. Yeah, I could probably just do that, and that'll clear it out pretty good. Doesn't really seem like it's gonna be that bad, to be honest. But let's go ahead, I'll put this in there. See, and then the balloon comes up. There it is. Yummy. Yummy. $350, please. And one of those, like, they call them, like, what? Put a fucking saddle on that damn thing, boy. Of course. All right, yeah. And that's how you do it. So I gotta find power. It's 
still coming out. Gotta add a clean out, probably here or like here. So it comes out that wall there. And you can see it's going up right there. And it's not insulated. So even you can see all that. Sorry. I get documentation, so I'm taking pictures. So, it needs to be insulated, running all the way out. And that's why they get these water damages. So, I'm just gonna write that we redo it. Um, and then that whole section right here needs to be removed. And we'll wrap a new drain line, rewrap it in insulation, figure out the sidewall, and basically just do it like that. Add a clean out right there, get a new float switch. I mentioned about the bottom of that return base because it's going to be all sopped up and gross. Well, that just happened. Oh my God. Wow. Um, fuck. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, shit. Uh, So that doesn't work clearly. Um, I don't know what the fuck. It sounded like it was just running backwards. But I didn't. Okay. I went to unplug my back and it just started. Now they've never heard that noise before. So I'm going to clean this portion up. And I was going to go ahead and double check everything. Now we'll have to double check everything. Um, and see why that didn't shut off so we still should have power going to the condenser because that is probably just hot water yeah watch let's take a look let's look let's look together shall we it should just be uh that's probably because that, that's a fused one just wire noted <laughs> ain't no way you're telling me look at that stupid shit you know The shit you see, man, because honestly, this was a flip, I'm sure, and they get a decent amount of money for this house. They hired some janky people to do the job. Got the hawks circling. They can smell us the death of me. Kidding. Hot kidding. Maybe. So, all right. I think what happened is just when I flipped that float switch around or pushed it in, it shut it off, but it kept running. It never shut down. So I'm gonna have to rewire that thing. And I'll tell the customer that I gotta rewire it. But like I said, no Romex back there, no nothing to seal it. Kind of just gotta take some snapshots so they can see that. Uh, fucking ridiculous, dude. And I gotta find where that's at. But biggest thing is that gooky mess. 
It's basically just gonna be a bunch of documentation right now because again, being that it's a rental property, not much I can do. Oh yeah. It's got yellow, black, that's fine and dandy. Check this out. And she's a, she's a fried up bitty, that's for sure. So I'm going to make some electrical recommendations on this thing. That way, I mean, it's cold in the house. It feels good. It's running. I'll be able to thoroughly uh, inspect it once they make all these recommendations because I'm going to get tie downs on this, all that. So anyways, I'm going to go through it just a little bit more. I'm going to pop open that door too so let's go see what's inside another thing i'm going to note is this filter dryer here with it not being tied down you got it they got all this stuff going on here so that's going to cause issues but look it's going to rub out i guarantee you at some point in time i can easily just do that but with the amount of that way it gets a little bit more clearance but with the amount of, that you can see that that thing's moved that's no bueno papi Put this back together. That's wild, man. Fucking shark asses. We'll just put it back in for what reason? It's just there for look. Resecure it. I'll make note about that as well. How close that is to that. I mean, you can see kind of the, the lint build. I don't know if it's gonna appear very well but there's some build up there um i don't even want to move it <laughs> my luck it'll break a joint put this back together we'll be in good shape now there's that here we go see how this has how they have this thing wired up. I'm gonna get some photos just because the dog's gonna bark, so I'm gonna catch y'all in the truck. Back in the ride. Okay, I am uploading all my stuff over here to Service Titan, getting it checked in. I'm gonna write up quotes for a bunch of stuff. Um, one, the contactor, tie downs, locking caps. And these aren't all necessary things. The tie downs for sure, because uh, Florida and hurricanes. Uh, that contactor looks like crap. Um, I'm going to re-insulate the drain line in the garage because they keep having puddles of water out there. We will replace the float switch. Um, no, we won't. I don't know. I'm going to write it up, and if I come back and it doesn't need it, I won't. Because it did shut the system. It did interrupt 24 volts at some point because when I went to put it in, the... Um, that's when the compressor kind of started running in reverse. So that's what that was. But luckily I kind of did do that to find out that the disconnect needs to be rewired. So we're gonna write that up as well. And I gotta find the breaker for that. I couldn't find it in that panel. I'll double check my photos because I took pictures of it. Then I'm gonna write up the return base there because that's gonna be all saturated, wet and nasty. Um, bacteria, what else? That's about it. So. We'll do all that good stuff, write them all up. It's a straight cool system, it's running, but needs a little bit of TLC. That's what happens when you got people that watch DIY douchebags on YouTube or anything like that, or maybe they weren't even trained right or incompetency or they did it cheaply. I don't know, There's we do jobs cheaply, but we still do it afford or um, properly and affordably, right? Like the tie downs and things like that, lock and cap. So obviously no permit was pulled on this thing. Um, and it's, yeah. It shows. And we're in like a ritzy area, so. Goes to show you the people with the money, we, we, we all know. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could smash the like button, consider subscribing if you're new here. All my subscribers, y'all already know, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Later.